Hi, welcome back to Nick's Drum Lessons. I'm Nick. Today we're going to go over roles within the jazz and swing context. I know you were waiting for this one, but trust me, you'll get a lot out of it, okay? Um, first things first is you must know standard jazz time. If you don't know it, it's that pattern that goes one, two, a three, four, a one, two, a three, four. Technique wise, make sure you that your heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, so you snap the hi-hat on two and four with your toe, and you don't hear anything with your heel, but you're constantly just checking time. One, two, three, four. The high or sorry, ride symbol in this case is going to be one, two, a three, four. You're gonna whip the wrist with your two and four and a little bit more fingers with the a three, a one. It sounds like this. Okay, took it slow, started to build speed, and eventually get to that tempo, all right? So, there's your standard jazz time. Now, let's talk about the rolls that we're gonna be using. The first batch that we're gonna be using are fives, nines, thirteens, and seventeens. These are all rolls that start with one hand and end with the exact same hand, all right? So in case of a five stroke, you've got right, right, left, left, right, all right? So, uh, you're gonna start with that, all right? Now, on the PDF on nextdrumlessons.com, you'll see that I wrote this in a two-bar phrase. I wrote them all in a two-bar phrase. Of course, you don't have to use them in this context, but this, in the sense of learning, we're going to use them in two bars. So, the first bar is literally just time. One, two, a three, four, a one. The second measure is where the rolls will take place. Now, it's very important, and it says it in the PDF, where the time pattern stops and where it needs to stop so that you can effectively do the roll, in this case on a snare. Won't always have to be on the snare, but in the learning sense, let's try it on the snare. And where that starts and it picks up back on the fill, all right? So that will be indicated in the, in the PDF, all right? So let's look at the five stroke roll. I'm gonna stop on beat three of the second measure and the roll is gonna start on beat four. These are written as 16th notes, but you gotta remember in the jazz context, even slow, it's gonna sound pretty swift, those 16th notes. When you get it really fast, it's gonna sound very roll-like. So keep that in mind, all right? It's not written in your typical 32nd note uh, way. It's gonna be written in 16th notes, okay? So take a listen to how these five strokes sound in jazz. I'll take it slow, and then I'll go a little faster with it. All right, as you can see, when you pick up speed, it sounds amazing, and it's just a nice thing to work in. Now, you can use that fill as just part of time, uh, I mean, just part of the pattern, or you can use it to set up ensemble figures, okay? The, the infamous one is always the one, a two, uh, but that's one of hundreds of combinations, all right? So, two uses for those. Just within time, just within setting up an ensemble figure within the jazz world, okay? So those are five strokes. Notice it was right, right, left, left, right. Now, if we add four more to it, we've got your nine, okay? I don't know why I couldn't figure out that with fingers, but anyway. So nine would be nine fingers. All right, I have sticks in my hands. Uh, you're gonna stop on beat two, and it's gonna pick up on three. Here's how that sounds. I'll take it slow, and again, build it faster.
All right, so as you see, it kicks up a notch, especially when you start adding more and more combinations to it. So again, we start with five, we add four more, we add nine. You're gonna do the same thing with 13s and 17s, which is indicated on the PDF, all right? I'll briefly go through both of them at a very fast speed, but again, take them in the same context as the others. Take it very slow at first. 13s and then 17s. As you can see, very effective, okay? So take your time with them, really start with the fives, then go from there, all right? Now, the more trickier rolls are the ones that start with one hand and end on the other. These, in this case, will be sevens and fifteens, all right? The advantage of these is that when you do the other ones, you feel a gap in time. These will sound like it's continuous. Once you hit that beat three, you go immediately in those seven stroke rolls, and it's very, it has a nice flow to it, okay? So it sounds very continuous, especially at a fast speed, okay? So here's some sevens. Take it slow and then I'll build it faster. Really effective. Now, the also the advantage in what you may have seen there was if you just continue the sevens, man, it sounds great. All right, it's just, it sounds great, especially if your ensemble is really punching one and three. One, three, four, it just sounds fantastic. Now, um, I may have forgotten to mention this, but you were counting the bass drum and the ride after the, the doubles as the counted strokes. So in the case of the five strokes, right, right, left, left, right, that was, that was, that was part of the roll, was basically that ride and bass drum. So, sorry if I forgot to mention that. Well, blame me and you can yell at me later. All right. So, last one I'll go over is your 15s, and this will start immediately after the one, all right? So, you got a real nice build up to it, okay? All right, so you can see a lot of advantages of knowing your roles, knowing your time pattern, especially in the jazz world, and then putting those two together, okay? A lot of fun you can have here. It sounds super impressive. If used well, it's one of those stop the show moments, all right? So it sounds good, it looks good, and uh, yeah, you start to work your roles in a practical sense, which again, if you've seen my other videos, it's not about just learning this movement for no reason, how do you apply it to different styles within the drum set world, the music world? So again, knowing your roles, knowing jazz, boom, it is a perfect combination as well as a lot of rudiments. So until the next video, have fun with this. You can see the PDF on uh, my site, Nick's Drum Lessons. If you have any questions, you contact me there and you'll see a bunch more lessons on the site directly, okay? Till the next video, have fun. Thanks. Bye.